Today, we're going to learn how to turn off wireless Android Auto so you can connect just with the USB cord. Okay, okay, I know what you're saying. Why would you want to turn off wireless Android Auto? Well, sometimes in my Ram 1500, the wireless connection drops. And when it does, it's always at the worst possible time when I need the map the most. And it takes it a while for it to reconnect back. So I was looking for a way to be able to connect my phone to Android Auto via the USB plug, and that be the only way that it connects. In the next segment here, I'm going to teach you how to turn off the wireless part of your Android Auto in the settings of your Android phone. This is a lot more difficult than you might think because Android Auto is not an app. Android Auto used to be an app that you downloaded from the Play Store, but now it's baked in to the operating system. So it's a lot harder to tell it what to do or to turn off certain features on it because it uses whatever it thinks that it needs want you to do. So in this next segment, I'm going to teach you how to do that. Stay tuned. All right. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your settings up at the top and you're going to want to go down to the very bottom down here where it says apps and you'll want to click on the apps in settings. Then you're going to slide down to Android Auto in the Apps section. This is where it begins to get a little bit tricky. So you're going to want to run down in Android Auto and go down to Configure in Android Auto and slide all the way down to the bottom on this screen. Now this is where you're going to enable the developer options, which is a little tricky. You're going to tap on this spot down here at the bottom where it says version. I believe it's nine times, but just keep tapping on it. A little window will pop up here saying uh, you've got three more taps before you enter developer mode. And then there's going to be a big sign that comes up saying, hey, are you sure you want to go into developer settings? Because you can use these to change things that are major. So you're going to click OK on that. Then you're going to go up to the three dots up in the corner. And you'll notice that now you have help and feedback. You have developer settings, start head unit server, and quit developer mode. Now these developer settings are not something to really be messed around with too much because these are the things that developers use, obviously, to try things out but this is going to help us out in this. So you're going to click go to developer settings and you're going to see wireless Android Auto is checked. Uncheck that box and you can actually look down through here and see some of the things that you can look at in the developer settings. And this is a little bit different than developer settings for Android as a whole. This is really more just about Android Auto. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head on out to the truck and see if our new settings work. Okay, so here we are in the truck just to see if this all worked like it was supposed to. I'm just going to put it in accessory mode so I don't uh, kill myself with the carbon monoxide. We'll fire it up and what you should see is you should see that my phone will connect via the Bluetooth here. So this is my wife's recall setting that she has for her profile. And if you look down here, you'll see my phone's name is hashtag augrule10. So you'll see that my phone is connected here. So that's great, but I don't have Android Auto connected. And if you look down here at the bottom, it just says phone. So it is connecting via Bluetooth to my phone. But now I'm going to plug in this down here at the bottom. And I'm going to plug in my phone via USB and you'll see that Android Auto pops up down here at the bottom and you'll see that Android Auto comes up here at the top. Works just like it's supposed to and it's not connecting via wireless. It has nothing to do with my wireless Android Auto. I just wanted to turn that off so that the connection would be consistent and it wouldn't keep dropping the connection. If I take it off, it goes right back to just being on my phone via Bluetooth. Thanks for tuning in.